Welcome back to the breakdown. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Anchor solar panel. Now I just picked this up myself. This was not reviewing it. I picked it up for myself. This is a portable solar panel charger for phones, tablets, and all kinds of other devices that can be charged by USB. We're going to be talking about the pros and cons of this, let you know how it compares to other solar panels I've had on the market. And let you know why I like this better than a lot of those um, battery packs with built-in solar panels. First though, if you want to find this on Amazon, I will say this is a competitively priced uh, solar panel for its size, its wattage, its output, and its features. Are there more expensive? Yes, that do a lot more. Are there cheaper ones? Yeah, uh, but I think there's a few things that help make this stand out at its price point from its competition. First though, if you're new here and you want to find the pricing on this, I don't like to give exact pricing. I do put links to this on Amazon though. You can find it in the first pinned comment and in the show notes down below. You can find a link to it on Amazon because pricing always changes, so keep that in mind. Also, um, if you're new here and you want to help us grow this channel, do me a big favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So hopefully we can help you learn something new. Now with that said, let's dive in and take a look at the Anchor um, solar panel here. Now a few things right off the bat. I will be showing this real quick a few key things and then I do have a video of it in action we're going to show you. Now right off the bat you do on the front of it have this little plastic box here. This is where you're going to find the three USB ports here. There's also an indicator light to show you if it's um, got power or not. There is also a um, little pouch here we'll call it. It's a hard sided pouch. This is a hard fabric, not metal, not plastic, but it's a very hard fabric to help protect whatever you have in here. So you can put whatever you want. Definitely a great place to store the cables or whatever other accessories you want with you in this. Maybe a small battery pack, whatever you want. It does have very nice stands, as you can see right here. Once I pop the little metal clip here, it's got stands to help it stand up. It's got metal clips here, to help secure it to keep it closed or open when you want it. Now I will fully open this. Again, I will show this all um, set up here in one moment. Just kind of want to go over a few things here. I also got little clips here, metal ones, that you can use to hang this off and uh, hold it up, rather it be on the back of a backpack or um, hanging off the side of your home or wherever it may be. It does have very nice uh, support there. Also, it does have very nice ability to lock shut with these metal clips. There we go, put it in there. I line it up, there we go. There we go, nice and secure. Now, a few things for as I show you the video of it actually in action. This is about two pounds, a little over two pounds heavy. There's definitely heavier solar panels out there. This one is fairly average weight for its size. Now, it's 24 watts total output. Max output per USB is 12. So you're not gonna get a super fast charge. It's also not USB-C, it's just standard USB. So for 12 watts, we'll charge tablets, phones, earbuds, whatever you may have, it's just not gonna supercharge them. You can charge up a battery pack, but it's not gonna charge as fast as if you had a 45 watt or 20 watt or 30 watt dedicated power going into it. With that said, if you just have a small battery pack that you wanna have, so at night while you're hiking, maybe boondocking, you can make sure you have always have your cell phone charged so that if there's an emergency, you have it. Or if you have a Bluetooth speaker, you have some music on your phone, whatever, you wanna be able to listen to music at night, this is a nice way to make sure you have that when you combine this with a battery pack, for example. Um, so keep that in mind, if you have 24 watt max output and you plug in three devices, that's gonna quickly pull down the amount of power you can use with it, so keep that in mind. Really, one or two phones at once, I would recommend being max, two 12 watt outs, gives you that 24, and it gives you a decent average charge rate. For a long time, you know, 10 watts, five watts, weren't uncommon for charging of phones. Nowadays, we're getting into a space where a lot of phones are 20 or more watts for charging, that gives you a far faster charging. So this will be able to do it. Now in my testing, I was able to get the full 24 watts in direct sunlight. Now that means I'm not only in sunlight, but I'm pointing the solar panel towards the sun, which is very nice with the two built-in legs to help you angle it towards the sun. Just laying it in sunlight where it's not directly facing the sun will give you a charge at a slower rate. I see some people complain, oh, I'm not getting the full 24 watts. Um, if you're doing it and it's not directly in sun, not directly facing towards the sun, that will affect it. If it's cloudy, if you're in the shade, whatever, that will negatively affect it. There is one cool feature here, 
that this device has that a lot of similarly priced ones out there don't. And that is the ability for auto resume of charging. Now, one of the things many solar panels do to protect your electronics is when the power drops down too low, the sunlight drops down too low for it to power your devices, it stops the charge because it doesn't want to damage your devices by um, offering low, high, low, high, low, high um, charging rates to your device that can cause some issues. Um, this one has a very nice safety device that most cellular panels do that I've seen out there in this kind of range and this kind of features is the ability to stop it. But this one does something nice that not all the especially budget friendly um, solar panels out there do, and that's auto resume. Now this one will automatically resume charging when the light on the solar panel reaches the point where it can adequately charge whatever's plugged in, which is a cool feature. You don't have to worry about, hey, I need to unplug my electronics, then plug them back in to resume charging and some cheaper ones if my uh, solar panels lost power. If a big, let's say a rainstorm came and uh, we lost enough light to power it, or maybe the sun moved and I came back from hiking and now the solar panel is sitting in shade and it stopped charging, um, for example. So a lot of cool features with that. And that's a really cool feature like they show in the pictures on the Amazon listing is the ability to have this on your back, on your backpack draped over there. And as you hike, it's pulling power and charging a battery pack or charging your phone or wherever. You can use the clips to kind of hang it off your backpack, for example. A cool feature with me, um, solar panels like this, as you move in and out of darkness, it can negatively affect that ability. A few other things to talk about this. This is a flexible, solar panel. Let me open this up and give you kind of an idea. Now, I've actually damaged solar panels because I've um, done this. It doesn't take much to damage some solar panels. This one's designed to be flexible. Now, it's not like, hey, I'm gonna roll this into a tight little ball or jump up and down on it. Durable, but it is made to be flexible, which is very nice. You don't have to worry about accidentally bumping into it and breaking it just because you maybe put a tiny bit too much weight on it or you bent it just a little bit with some cheaper solar panels, those will break. Um, so very nice that these are flexible, makes them a lot more durable. We'll say overall the quality of it. The zippers are very nice and big, nice rubber grips here, nice um, solid connections here, for example. Now one thing, these are open USB connections. I would recommend not getting this horribly wet. A little bit of water, a little sprinkle won't kill it. Uh, but you're definitely not gonna go drag this through, for example, a river and take it out and expect it to just work. You don't want to get this too wet. So keep that in mind. You do want to keep in consideration that this is a piece of electronics. And if you submerge it in water, that's not good for a piece of electronics. So keep that in mind. Though it is nicely designed to be protected um, from many types of elements out there, uh, hot, cold, and other things. So just keep that in mind. Overall, 24 watts is a good output for a device of this amount if you're looking to something that wants to charge your phone, your tablet, your wireless earbuds for when you're hiking, camping, boondocking, or you just want one of these around the house in case you lose power. When I lived in Texas, hurricanes were a thing that happened often and power was something that could go out when that happens. Having a few solar panels is very nice because it allows you to know that, hey, I can always keep my phone charged during the day with this. Maybe charge up a battery pack during the day, use it at night, for example. Now what it won't do, 24 watts is not a lot of power to charge a lot of the big, huge all home battery packs. If you want something a little bit more kick to this, 24 watts is also probably not a lot enough for most laptops. Some smaller laptops will charge on that at a slower rate. Most laptops like 60 or more, or at least 40 or more for charging. You know, know what your laptop has. Everybody has laptops are different and they are some cheaper or smaller, I should say, lower in power needing laptops out there in the market. But I think most people have laptops that need at least 40 to get a decent charge out of it. Especially when we consider that this is capped at 12, out, 12 watts out per um, port. So keep that in mind. Overall, I'm very happy with it. It's a nice design. It's sturdy. I really like the big pocket here, the hard case pocket to store my cables, maybe a tiny battery pack, whatever I want. So it's all right here, all in one spot. If power goes out, I grab it. I'm going hiking, we're going to do a little boondocking with the family. This is a nice option to have here. So two thumbs up. I will put a link to this down in the show notes down below if you want to find it there on Amazon and you can find out the current pricing. If you're new here, do me a big favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. We would really appreciate it because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. So until next time, take care. Be safe. I'll be back with another video real soon.